The purpose of this first training video is to train you how to log in to your newly created website to access the C panel or control panel and to create a webmail which is web based email for yourself. To do that you go to your newly created website and simply type in the word C panel into the browser window. I've actually got a window open with a newly created website at charleslogico.com and what we're going to do is enter into the cPanel by clicking in the browser address bar and typing slash cpanel on our keyboard and pressing enter. What will appear will be the cPanel login screen. Now that we have the login screen in front of us, we simply type in the username and the password that would be provided to you in the email that you received when you first created your new hosting account. Then click login. This will allow you to access the back end of your website. What you're seeing now is the cPanel. The cPanel contains important important information and uh, uh, settings for your website that can be edited from the back end which no one can access but you. As you can see it's password protected. It contains important information such as statistics, uh, also preferences for your website, mail, uh, file management, uh, logs, uh, security settings, uh, domain settings, database settings, software and services settings, and other advanced settings such as Apache handlers, cron jobs, Cloudflare, uh, website templates, MIME types, and other things that only a webmaster would be interested in, but which are nonetheless important aspects of your website. But for the purposes of this training video, what we're interested in is the one that is typically um, on the second row down under mail called email accounts. Point at the icon for email ac accounts and click on it to enter into the email account section of your website. Now that we're in the uh, back end of the website, we click on the email accounts icon to go into the email accounts portion of your cPanel. Um, this portion, your email account screen, uh, allows you to create your own email accounts and also to uh, change settings such as passwords and other important things on your email accounts. You'll notice here we have at the top email accounts uh, this, uh, portion of the screen. This is where we actually manage the email accounts and create new ones. Here's where we type in the name of the email account that we do want. And you'll notice uh, we have a name and at and your main domain name. Now, if there was multiple domain names, we would have it available, but we don't at this time. Here we have, here we have um, password. Uh, you would type it again. Uh, we would also uh, check the strength of the password and also the mailbox quota. Now, the mailbox's quota is, is very important. Uh, because uh, it allows you to either have an unlimited quota or limit it to say 10, 5, 10 or megabytes. But you've got to understand if you create too many uh, email accounts it will take away from the overall amount of space you have for your email account. So if you have only for example uh, this is 250 megabytes let's just say you had a 1 gigabyte website uh, you could only have 4 email accounts and you would have no more room for an actual website. Of course nobody would ever have a one gigabyte website but that's just an example uh, that uh, you have to uh, limit the amount of uh, mailbox quota. Now if you are forwarding your emails you don't need to worry about the quota so instead of 250 you could only make that five megabytes. Um, you see the check mark means that that is possible. Now let's say we did five thousand website. Now, see that? Quotas cannot exceed 2048 megabytes. So uh, if you put too much in, um, it will it will let you know. 
see unlimited now um, obviously I can't click create account because I haven't filled out anything out but we already have an account there me at charleslogico.com we also see here on terms of usage we see that we have zero uh, megabytes is actually in use we can change the password we can change the quota we can delete the account and over here where it says more we can access the webmail or configure an email client you see here the default me email account is Charles at charleslogico.com so right now this zero bytes is used and if we wanted to access it we could click here you see here at the bottom disk space usage is recalculated every four hours so that if you receive a lot of emails uh, you have to go here to empty your email account um, you can of course access your webmail we'll do that in the next portion of this tutorial assuming that you log into your website and this is the first screen you see you would click on email accounts here and you would go down to where your email is listed and click on more and click on access webmail you'll notice it automatically logged in um, that is because I'm logged into the back end of my website if I was not logged into the back end of my website it would require a username and a password we're presented with three different email clients Horde, Roundcube and Squirrel Mail. I won't go into the differences between those three right now I just want to show you at this level exactly how you can log in to your account. Now let's go back to the home page before we log in and we're going to click and go back it's not here we go we're going to go back to the home page and the other way of accessing it is here where it says webmail and it says go to webmail login and well we've logged in automatically but here we're logged in as our main one which is actually Charles now um, if you wanted to log in as a specific person you could uh, log in uh, using a different username and password let's go back here and actually log out and here is where we're going to log in on the internet you'll notice it says charleslogico.com 2095 log out let's actually show you how to log in via the internet here we have the website uh, there is no website installed at this time so all we do is go to our website whatever it might be something or other dot com and type slash web mail and then go enter a screen will appear that shows web mail you'll notice the number is colon 2095 that allows you to access the webmail server to access your webmail you type the address with the dot com URL for example s a l e s at charles logco.com exactly the same as you see it here and then put in your password and go log in I obviously didn't do it right so let's copy this address and go it's actually sales and I spelt that wrong there we go sales and then we put in our proper password which is hidden and we go log in and there you go we have now logged in and we have presented once again with the login screen for for email with the three different email clients we also have the option of changing our password for the email forwarding the email to another address which I spoke about autoresponders now an autoresponder means every time someone sends an email it would automatically respond saying I have received an email configure email client has different options for using Microsoft Outlook and other email programs with this box trapper is something we won't talk about it's for trapping spam email delivery route allows you to see what route it's taking and email filtering allows you to filter out spam and other messages from your email we won't go into any of these options right now we will just show you one of the most typical email clients and that is squirrel mail each of them have a different look we're going to take a look at each one of them right now 
one of the most basic ones is squirrel mail. I've just clicked on it and here you see the squirrel mail screen. It's very basic uh, however, it has everything you need. It has an inbox, draft, sent, trash, compose, addresses, folders, options, search. It's very basic and it will probably work for 99% of everyone out there. The other options is Round Cube. Now, it is more graphical, and if we click on that, you can see that Round Cube is a very nice interface, much like the typical Microsoft interface where you see an inbox draft, little icons, sent, junk mail, trash. Up here, check for new messages where it will check for your server. Here's compose a new message, reply to sender, or, uh, reply to list. It also has mark messages and more actions such as print the message, download the EML to your computer, edit as new, show source, and open new window. Uh, it also has up here in the corner an address book which you can add your addresses to and we have settings over here which is user interface, mailbox view, composing messages, display messages, special folders, and server settings. You probably will not need to ever go into the settings portion of this program. Let's go back to see the other email client which is called Horde. Now these are arranged from the simplest to the most complex. So Squirrel Mail being the most simple, Round Cube being in the middle, and Horde being the most feature rich of all of the email clients. Remember you are viewing this on the internet not on your computer. And you come to a screen that says Welcome to Horde and you can choose the language. You'll notice that there is a myriad of different languages available. Click on Login and you'll see it's very 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 rich interface with a special uh, drop-down menu and a uh, system. Um, so you have uh, filters, new message, search, inbox, drafts, junk, sent, very, very advanced interface. Not only does it have an address book, it also has a calendar, it also has a list of tasks, and notes. This is very well suited for someone involved in sales who wants to keep in touch with their customers. It also allows you to import and export different uh, files. For example, you see you can import a CSV file uh, which would allow you to import contacts. For mail, it has a very basic, and obviously there's no inbox right now, but here we have a whole ribbon of commands, a new message, different folders. You can create folders, fetch mail, uh, your mail, dynamic mail, mobile mail, filters, calendar, notes, tasks, address book, and options, a very complicated interface. We will not be using this email client in this tutorial. This is only to introduce you to those email clients, to each one of the three so that you can decide which one you would like to try. In conclusion, I'd like you to try um, one of them or all of them, Squirrel Mail, Round Cube, or Horde, and just get a feel for what you like. You'll learn that each has its advantages and disadvantages, and one of them I'm sure you'll choose as your favorite webmail client. Thank you for viewing this tutorial. Uh, we really appreciate uh, you watching, and we hope that you will become a client uh, of ours. And uh, please come again uh, to check what new tutorials are available. Um, to our website. Uh, the website is creativewebdesign123.com. Take care. Have a nice day. Bye for now.